What is going on, my ninjas? Before I start off this review, let me say that without a doubt, I truly believe that Hanabi Huga can be the most badass Huga in existence. And here's why. We've seen how badass she's gotten just by watching Hanata train when she was five years younger than her back in part one. Now, after the time skip, you know, after Naruto came back training with Jiraiya, that was two and a half years, right? So she's still technically younger than, well, two and a half years younger than what Neji was back in part one. And she still almost mastered the uh, the rotation. Bruh, I'm talking about once she gets up to where Neji and Hanata are now. I mean, you know, Neji's dead, but you know what I mean. Once she gets up to Hanata's current age, Hanabi is going to be unstoppable. And who knows, maybe she is badass in the movie, but she does get kidnapped by Tanuri Asutsuki, as we know. But, I mean, he's an Asutsuki, so really, what can you expect a Hyuga to do against something like that? Now, if you're an anime-only watcher, I'm going to leave the Asutsuki talk out of this. Just forget everything you just heard. But these two episodes were great. I actually made a video about Hanabi, like, almost a year ago, about how I think Kishimoto could have developed her character a little bit more, because the only thing we were ever shown of her was her beating the fuck out of Hinata in like one episode and then we saw her at the tune-in exams for one episode so before this she's only been in two episodes correct me if I'm wrong so just the vibe I got from her when we saw her whooping Hinata's ass and it just so happened to be in the episode where Hinata was thinking back about her failures and how Naruto inspired her in the pain arc like when she got impaled by pain watch the episode over again that is Hanabi and the vibe I got from her then was that she's this badass younger sister and she doesn't give a fuck about anyone because I mean, we, we weren't really shown her attitude we just saw her with this mean face and continuing to beat the fuck out of Hinata so I am glad that she is kind hearted just like her sister and it is completely obvious during these two episodes that her sister is the most important thing to her in this world but although these are only two episodes it does quite a bit for Hanabi's character I mean it doesn't make up for the lack of the screen time she's gotten but she's went she went from just in two episodes from wanting to play with Hanata to wanting to grow up to be like her to wanting to look good in front of her and then finally wanting to protect the entire Hyuga clan in just two episodes and that's really impressive although there were time skips like every 10 minutes it was still very impressive that they could fit this much in just two episodes I mean from the beginning of the show all the way up to where we are now and we even got some nostalgia like the Naruto versus Neji fight it's still awesome and Hanata in the hospital and I am glad that they threw in there that Hanabi did visit her in the hospital and she wasn't just you know in her room the entire time and she wasn't a ghost she was just peeking kind of how Hanata is always peeking on Naruto also this episode does a great job of showing how far Naruto has come and who all he has touched in his life you know not this kind of touching but the touching that just makes you want to change I mean Naruto needs to start his own church this guy has changed Hinata Neji and even indirectly even if it wasn't his intentions or her intentions Hanabi as well and she is going to get the rotation down I'm sure of it I would not be surprised if she has the 64 palms down by the time the movie hits but like I said I did make a video asking where the fuck was Hanabi during all this where was she during the pain fight where is she during the war because like like I said, the only thing we were shown from her was that she's like a badass, so she could have been used in the war, so I'm glad this episode addresses those issues to get me to shut the fuck up about it. But this episode was made just so when we see Hanabi in the new movie that's about to come out, we're not like, who the fuck is this person? So take it for what it is, just enjoy this, because we'll probably never see Hanabi in another Naruto Shippuden episode ever, unless it's the last episode, and they throw some extra stuff in there showing what some more characters are up to. As far as specials go, this was a pretty good episode. I mean, there was nothing like, oh my god, like fangirl levels, but it did a good job job of developing a character that has not been developed at all. And I like how it was Naruto that inspired Hinata to create the twin lion fist. I don't believe that's ever been told to us before, but that's just awesome to know. But tell me what you guys thought, and oh my god, the preview to the next episode. Please watch the preview. The manga readers know some epic shit is about to go down. But anyway, tell me what you guys think. This has been JB Dutch. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.